So I have my coffee and I'm ready to work on a few more animations for membranes. Now one of the things I've been doing is I've been working a lot on membrane transport and uh, polar or charged particles diffusing through the membrane. But one thing that we gotta remember is that in order to diffuse through the membrane, particles, molecules that are charged or polar have to break their interactions with water. And this is called the hydration sphere. And so in this graphic, we're gonna be exploring a little bit about that because it affects membrane transport. The idea of a hydration sphere is not really new to us. We've seen it before. We know that the way water orientates itself around particles or solutes in water. For example, salt. It's because water is a polar molecule. It has a dipole. And so near the oxygen, it has a partial negative charge. And near the hydrogens, it has a partial positive charge. Now, but let's ask ourselves, why do these hydration spheres form around solutes. Yes, it's because of charge interactions, but also with the formation of these hydration spheres, it lowers entropy. And so why is this considered when we talk about membrane transport? Because in order to diffuse through the membrane, the solute must break its interactions with the hydration sphere. This is gonna momentarily increase entropy. And so for a lot of solutes, definitely those that are polar, or have charges, this is extremely unfavorable. And so this adds to the reasoning why when we have polar or charged molecules, diffusion through the membrane is hard without a protein. go a little bit off topic, I wanted to talk about art. Um, once again, I'm featuring a sticker from the super talented Apple Cheeks, um, Tiffany Tan on Instagram. I know I've featured her works many times, um, but I'm really excited because I've gotten into contact with a few other artists and um, to feature their work and to feature new things around my iPad. I think this is a really cool thing to do because I really am passionate about creating creative workspaces that ignite learning.
one really important factor when considering um, the movement or diffusion of charged or polar molecules to the membrane is that yes, the hydration sphere has to break in order for the particle to be diffused simply, naturally, or with the help of a protein. But once the particle gets inside the cell on the other side of the membrane, a new hydration sphere will form, lowering entropy once it happens. And so that's what I'm trying to display with the second square. Um, the hydration sphere that's going to form as the particle enters the cell. as we finish up, I just kind of wanted to remind you guys that I am doing a little tutorial series on how I create these animations and graphics. And one of the interesting things about that series is I am exploring new ways to animate proteins, protein movement, and even membrane movement throughout that tutorial. So um, if you're interested, go check it out. Um, I hope you guys were able to get a few things done studying with me today. And I hope you guys have a great day.